Hello guys, I hope you're all doing really well. Welcome to this week's video. Um, this is the start of the renovation vlog, so that's really exciting. And this is future Kate talking right now because I filmed this vlog over like three weeks. The work is getting done mostly at the weekends because that's just what works best for the builders and also to be honest me as well because obviously I work from home. But yeah, I didn't want to put tiny dribs and drabs in like three different vlogs so I thought it makes sense just to film as and when I can and pull it all into one vlog but I'm going to warn you this vlog's a bit choppy and changey um so that's why I just wanted to jump on first and um just say hello have a bit of a catch up and then yeah we can go into the renovation chaos when I say renovation I do mean that in a very light sense I'm not exactly knocking down any walls I'm not um adding an, an extension I'm just basically giving my very lovely plain apartment a bit of a facelift and yeah right now i love this apartment so much i love the layout of it i just i'm so happy here but i do feel like i'm living in a bit of a plain white box and i'm just really excited for it to feel like a proper home but yeah hats off to anyone especially young women who are redoing their homes by themselves because oh my goodness it is difficult making all the decisions managing all of the contractors, I'm, I've actually got two different contractors that I'm using because like based on quotes and stuff like that. And um, it's just a lot to manage and there's like a lot of moving parts. We've had, I think three whole days of renovations now and there's one more, I think that, and then there's one more tomorrow as well, which I'll show you guys um, at the end of the vlog. But like I said, I think it's one of those things where it doesn't look like anything's happened until it all comes together and like works in unison. But yeah, I definitely underestimated how much time and effort goes into all of this kind of thing. But anyway, how are you guys all feeling? I hope you're all good. I hope you're um, excited for spring. How crazy is it that we are now in March? January dra dragged so long for me. February went in a flash and I'm sure March is gonna be the same. But March is a really good month because one, it's my birthday and two, all of our furniture arrives and hopefully most of the house stuff will be done. So I think it's gonna be a good month. Oh, as well, before we jump in, I need to show you what has just arrived because I've just done a big Abercrombie order and everything's amazing. I'm actually working with them on this video as well, which makes me so happy because I love and buy from the brand myself a lot. And even better as well, I managed to get a discount code for you guys. And this code can be used stacked on top of other discounts. So I think they've got 25% off spring items and something else as well. So you just can add on that 15% on top. So you have like a massive saving. The top I'm wearing right now is um, Abercrombie. I've had loads of questions on this. Um, I think it actually might be sold out, but they have other colors. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna show you everything I picked up. So I've bought quite a few of this kind of style top from Abercrombie over the last year. You guys might remember me showing you. And the reason is the quality is next level. It's like that really thick ribbed knit and it's so cozy and soft. So I sometimes wear this like days like today where I'm just at home lounging but want to have that like elevated lounge where I look. But equally you could wear this with like some leather trousers or dress it up with some heels and it's just a really good versatile um, top. I just adore it. They also do have it in like black and like some other colours as well like I said. Okay and then onto the trousers. Another thing Abercrombie do really well are sizes. They have such a huge range of sizes. Um, they have petite, regular, uh, tall, they also have curve love, and there's just so many different options. And that's amazing because I honestly never find trousers that fit me properly. Um, but these are perfect. So um, I wear a 24 waist and they're like enough that they're comfortable, but they're not at all loose and I can even like pull them up high if I want to. And the best thing is, they don't trail on the ground. Like this is amazing. Do you know what, I actually got these in a petite thinking the petite is probably gonna be good for me because I'm five foot four, but I actually ended up returning them because they were a little bit cropped. Um, so if you are taller than me, definitely go for the tall version, I would say. Or if you wanna wear them with heels, then again, go for the tall version if you are my size. But yeah, these are gonna be perfect for spring, summer, where I can just wear my flats, I can wear my Hermes Orans, my sandals, or just trainers like today. And, oh my God, I've got a real like, um, what's the word in my voice today again they have these in loads of different colors and this is why i'm kind of comparing them to aritzia not that i've ever been to aritzia but i've always wanted to have an aritzia in the uk yeah just because they are just the perfect perfect basics as you guys know i'm always on the hunt for good quality basics i cannot fault these honestly 
So I think these are like the third pair of leather trousers I own. But in fairness, I wear them non-stop. And these ones are different because, first of all, they are super high-waisted. I've got this thing where I feel like a lot of brands often like have the have high waisted ever so slightly too low like just on your belly button and i prefer it to be above i don't know if it's just because of like my body shape i just think it looks really flattering um so yeah these are super high waisted and they're quite tight around the bum which i really like and then they go into that straight leg style again similar to the black trousers i actually ordered these in petite and um showed you guys on my instagram and i asked like what do you guys think and if they're a bit short or not and um and yeah, because some of you said no, I think you should exchange it for the bigger size. So that's what I've done. Um, not bigger, sorry, longer. And I think these are still perfect. Like they don't trail on the ground. And like, you can still see a bit of ankle as well, which I always think is flattering. But honestly, I've tried and tested a lot of pairs of um, leather trousers. These are probably my favourite. I also love my naked ones, but those are like a more of a tailored trouser rather than a um, jean. And yeah, out of everything, I think these are my favourite because I know how much I'm going to use them. Next up, we have one of those really nice knits again, the ones that I adore. Um, this one has such a lovely silhouette. It's like this um, thick strap and then the sweetheart neckline. Um, I actually got this in an extra, extra small. And the good thing is with these um, tops is they're really stretchy, but I do think I could have gone up a size. Um, just because, I don't know, the neckline, I feel like it could be... Maybe it's all right. I'm going to keep it anyway because I really love it. But yeah, this really reminds me of the brand Kate. But I think like one of these is probably like £900, which I can't justify right now. And I also picked it up in black, so I'm going to show you what that looks like on too. So I wore this one out to dinner the other day. Um, I wore it with like a silk satiny kind of skirt, my Manolo heels, and it looked so elegant. Really loved it, even if I do say so myself. Um, but yeah, exactly the same in black. Also looks really nice with the leather mum jeans, but I think... These kind of trousers are just, they go with most things actually. But yeah, it's definitely an elevated basic. So again, easy to dress up and down. This next piece is stunning and I'm kicking myself for not trying it on properly because I do think I'm going to have to swap sizes. I've actually already shown you guys this on Instagram and it's just this beautiful dress. Like how nice. If you remember in my Mykonos vlog, I tried on something super similar in white from a designer, I can't remember the designer name, and it was really expensive, and I was like, no, it's a beautiful dress, but not worth it. And Abercrombie now have it. It is so, so gorgeous. Um, this also does come in white, but I thought I'd go for black because black is my favorite color. So the dresses also come in petite, which is such a revelation. But yeah, it feels really feminine, really elegant. Abercrombie do the best wedding dress edit, wedding guest dress edit even. Uh, so definitely check that out if you're going to a wedding. And yeah, I do think their pieces are like unique and different to other things that are on the high street. I don't know, is this too short? What do we think? I'm really unsure. Um, I'm praying they have other sizes if I do return it because because I need this dress in my life. So obsessed with Abercrombie and they're honestly becoming one of my favorite brands. So um, yeah, as I said earlier, delighted to be working with them and really happy that I have a code. I'll put it on the screen again in case you missed it and it can be stacked like I mentioned. So yeah, I've just parked up at a petrol station. This is the smallest and cutest petrol station I've ever seen. I don't know if you can see, but it's absolutely tiny. Um, is that gonna reach my car? I'm literally wearing like a mini skirt and knee high boots, so not the best um, attire, but it's fine. Mission complete. And now I'm just gonna go meet Grace because we're shooting some outfits. I've got a campaign to shoot. It's actually like not a very nice day and it's quite windy. So I'm hoping it's not too difficult to shoot today. I'm also driving into central, central London, which I never do. So that makes me a little bit nervous. Am I allowed out this way? Can I go this way? Oh no, I can't go that way. Guys, I'm literally driving past Buckingham Palace. Buckingham Palace is right there. Why does this feel really illegal? Um, it also makes me really nervous. All the roads were closed, so this was the only way that I could go. Oh, this makes me nervous as well. They don't have any like road, um, oh fuck, is, is this right? Road, um, they don't have any like road markings. I'm like, I don't know where I'm going. 
Oh, this is making me really nervous. I just had a successful shoot. Sorry I didn't vlog any of it. It was so windy and there was just a lot going on. Um, but I've just managed to find a parking space in Mayfair. So I'm very happy about that. Um, and I'm just about to go meet my friend, Millie Hobbs, who if you are, uh, if you've been here for a while, you will remember her when we used to shoot in Chelsea whilst I was at uni. So yeah, I think we're gonna go head to like Nanushka or like just some kind of cute cafe and um, have, have a catch up I haven't seen her in so long. I'm home and it's now such a lovely sunny evening, afternoon evening. Um, I've just got home to a really exciting delivery for the flat renovations which start tomorrow. I cannot wait. It's been a long time coming and if you have just jumped in here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I am renovating my new build apartment. At the moment it's a complete blank canvas and I just really want to put my own stamp on it and make it and just make it something that just feels so authentically me. Yeah, these have just arrived from Corston and I'm using them for all of the hardware in the house. I'm obsessed with antique brass hardware and my parents have it um, a lot in their house and I just think it's so gorgeous. And let me show you these light switches. How stunning. And they're so satisfying to flick on and off. And it's just like this really thin um, brass plate so it's just gonna look so like sleek on the wall and it's such a small detail but I just think these things will make all the difference but yeah I found this brand Corsten on Instagram and just instantly fell in love the quality of the stuff is so nice and I love how everything is packaged really well um, so I also got handles for the doors in this nice antique brass. There were two different styles to go for, but I went for this one because this one's a little bit more modern. And obviously I'm in a modern apartment. I don't wanna make it feel like something it's not. I want to keep it modern and new looking, but just with some slightly more classic features. So I think these are gonna do the job for that. And it also comes with, I think it's like a rose. Oh, this is so nice. This is gonna look so good, I'm so excited. And then yeah, I've got like the matching sockets and everything for these as well. So that, along with the skirting, is being done tomorrow, which is like the first phase of the renovations. So yeah, I've got a huge box like this big full of these, so I'm gonna unbox them all and unpackage them all so they're all ready for the contractors tomorrow. They have to faff around. <clears throat> Work started in the flat today, yay! Exciting. Yes, and then currently installing the skirtings. And we're also going to be doing the coving and light switches today. The light switches are stunning. They're so nice. He just goes, it's really cute how they're all matching in their little jumpers. <laughs> it's just that uniform. <laughs> so yeah, B and I are going to go get some pancakes and leave them to it. Um, I had a dream last night that they came in and literally put a wall up, like changed everything, oh put like really ugly light switches everywhere. Um, and just and then when I was like, oh, this isn't what I wanted, they were like, well, this is what we wanted, and we know better than you. <laughs> that happened to me at work. God, why do I look like this? <laughs> so we tried to go to where the pancakes are, but the queue was an hour and forty-five. So we're gonna go to Megan's. Both look very windswept. We just walked to. So it's very windy today, isn't it? It's really windy. So we are home and there has been progress. It's a definitely a work in progress. So um, I'll show you what we've done so far. So these are our new skirting boards. They still need to be painted and everything like that. Um, I've gone for the style called Antique 2. And here's what our skirting boards were before. So it's just like the basic one that came with the apartment. And instead of ripping them up and causing loads of damage to the wall and everything, I went for this really cool um, skirting board cover. I found this um, on TikTok actually. And um, yeah, it's just so smart. So you literally just place it over the top and then you obviously like glue it down or nail it in. Well, I don't know how they did it. Um, we actually run out, which is why there's half a, half a section done here. But yeah, the hallway is mostly done and it just, it really just adds something and it makes it look so much more cozy and homely. So we've also got it running through the living room here and all along this back wall and everything. But yeah, 
this is still a work in progress, so there's still lots to do. Sorry if you can hear stuff in the background. B is just sorting out the kitchen because they, there's a lot of dust. Yeah. Um, now we're going to the cupboards. Yeah. So, yeah, they were supposed to do the coving as well today, but the coving I, uh, they thought I wasn't actually a massive fan of, so we're going to reorder skirting, I mean coving. It is day two of flat renovations and we have left the house because one we've got no electricity and two there's five grown men in our house grown <laughs> men We're i had to do my hair men. i had to do my hair in the, in the hallway with no mirror <laughs> was in, in the like building communal hallway um so yeah we're just out and about really just wasting time no we're not wasting time yeah b's I got a have her first collab with naked, which is so exciting. Look out for a discount code because she will have one. Thirty percent off. Oh my god, that's so good actually. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Home to some progress. So let me show you. All of the air skirtings have now been fitted and painted, so they look a lot nicer and a bit more clean now. And we've also had the majority of the coarsed and light switches put in we just need to tidy up the edges and like paint over everything a little bit just to make it like perfect um but honestly this is bringing me so much joy switching them on and off and they just look so nice on the wall Orson literally had every single switch we needed so there's a triple gang here in the main bathroom which is fan leds and main light by the way this zara um diffuser is amazing they've got a huge one as well which i might get but yeah, it's one of my favourite smells ever. But um, right now, the silver and the gold is kind of jarring me. But these will obviously be replaced um, when the doors are getting fitted next week. And I have finally found a home for my piano, which sadly isn't in the flat. But it is not too far from home. I'm going to give it to my parents and put it in my childhood bedroom for now. Um, because I just, yeah, I'm emotionally attached to it. And I don't want to get rid of it. But honestly, there's no like good place for it in the apartment. So... Um, I'm going to replace this with like a very slim console table because right now if you if I come around here you can see it takes up like just under half the hallway so I'm going to get a really nice console table and um, like a big frame and like some flowers and like decorative bits like a little bowl for your keys all of that kind of thing just here we also had a lot of plug sockets um like patched over there was one here which we would never use so it was like it was never there now and who remembers the really annoying light switch at the end of the hallway here that wasn't in the middle it wasn't to the left it wasn't to the right it was just in such an awkward like placement i finally got rid of that as well so we're gonna have a big like mirror put at the end here well my ikea one just like mounted up and here are the course and sockets that's actually still got guys opal don't do that that's really naughty she doesn't like it look at him and then on this wall, we also had loads of sockets ready for like a TV to be mounted here. But actually it doesn't make sense to put a TV here because the space is too small. So I think there were like three really big sockets here that have all been removed. I am driving to horse riding, I'm really excited. I actually thought it was at four. And then at like three, I looked at my phone. I was like, I'm just gonna check what time it is. And it turns out it was at 3.30. And I don't live near the stables anymore. I used to live like 10 minute drive. Now it's a lot longer. So, um, so yeah, I was a little bit stressed and I hadn't eaten lunch. So I quickly just heated up some soup. This one's from Renourish and it's carrot and ginger. It's so nice. So I'm hoping this is enough to get me through a jumping lesson. I actually haven't done any schooling or jumping on horses since I fell off when was it like last November I think I've, I've been horse riding quite a lot of times since but haven't done jumping and I don't know if you guys remember but the, it was like a really bad fall and yeah the whole of my I think it was my right leg or left leg I can't remember went completely black like it was bad it was a bad fall but yeah I thought I might be nervous but I'm actually really excited for today's lesson and um and yeah it just always makes me feel so good afterwards so I'm looking forward to that Okay, I'm back after a really nice lesson. I look so um, rosy. It's honestly really hard exercise, but I love it so much. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go home now and, and shower, get into some fresh PJs, and then um, do some work this afternoon. So guys, this wall in my bedroom is finally getting done. I didn't think this was actually gonna happen, 
um this is how it's looking at the moment and then we're going to get these switches replaced with the nice corsten ones and put here i'm trying to balance you on the sofa is that safe we have a new filming angle unlocked with the camera balancing on the sofa hopefully you guys don't fall um anyway happy sunday it's upload day today and in all honesty i really wanted to show you guys more updates in the flat but we were supposed to have work done this weekend and the contractors cancelled last minute which is a little bit annoying but at the same time i can't really be annoyed because i also cancelled a job with them for next week and it was completely my own fault i misread the quote i thought they were doing more work than they actually were and then when i realized it was just to hang eight doors and the quote came to including vat it was 4.8 thousand pounds i really hope they don't watch these videos i mean i'm obviously they don't watch these videos these are contractors i don't know what if somehow it gets to them i hope it doesn't anyway let's let's just hope it doesn't and yeah the 4.8k 4 for hanging eight doors was um honestly just out of my budget like to me that just seems crazy i feel like you can make a kitchen for that money and i mean obviously i don't know the ins and outs and i don't know why people price things the way they do and I don't want to question somebody's prices so I got another quote and including the paint was like half the price like less than that so obviously I went for that one and it's so hard you know guys because I'm a very loyal person I'm loyal with everything with my friends family who does my hair even who does my nails I recently switched who does my nails because obviously I moved to a different area of London and I felt so much guilt yeah I was texting this other contractor and I literally felt like I was having an affair um which is ridiculous because obviously people have got different contractors for different things i felt really sneaky i felt like a proper snake and and it's just not a nice feeling but equally i feel like you have to do these things please can somebody tell me if you relate to this or not because i don't know if i'm just being ridiculous i probably am yeah all of this just means everything's been pushed back a few weeks which is a little bit frustrating but it's fine i've just got to be patient i'm just being really impatient because i'm just so excited to have everything done and also i'm just kind of over having like so much mess in the flat like everything isn't in its place there's like loads of dust and you have to keep on hoovering i mean i have to say they have been amazing at like tidying up after themselves the contractors it's really nice to come home and not to like loads of mess they are good at that but yeah i just don't feel settled right now anyway i'm going to show you what like the next steps are so you can see that in the next video and let me know if you guys do prefer these like vlogs of integrated reno bits or if you prefer all in one video like a kind of finished result i have asked you this before and i think you guys said and you guys said you want it in vlogs but let me know if you've changed your mind so i've ordered the coving um to go all around the ceiling here and the one i picked is this one which i think actually matches the skirting really nicely it's from a different company i think it's called like aurac or something and yeah like once it's up on the ceiling you can barely see all the details but but it definitely adds something to the room and then i'm just in the hallway so it's a bit echoey but these are all of the doors that are going to be hung next saturday i think these are called shaker doors and they just have like this little indent here but yeah just a little bit more traditional i just checked it is aurac decor that's what they're called and the delivery was so quick it came next day another reason i wanted these as well where are they the um cornice what are they called cornice coving um was to like hide the top of the curtains so the curtains are going to look really like built in which i think will look really nice um what else have i got to show you i've got lots of samples which i'm struggling with so i need your guys help on this one so hang on let me just clear the way a bit so this is the material for the sofa this is actually the same tweed that chanel uses which is a really nice little added touch um, of fashion to my furniture and what i really liked about it is it's like a tweed rather than a boucle because i love boucle but i'm worried it's a bit of a trend and then obviously our table is marble and i need to decide on what chairs i want i could either have like a white which really brings out the white in the tweed but i just don't want the flat to be too white and cold or where's the other option oh yeah the other option is like a gray which i know might seem a bit weird but i do think it pulls out the veins in the marble nicely this is a bit worried about it looking quite corporate what else was there oh yeah there's this one. Oh yeah i really like this one because of the texture um and again it's a kind of like gray beige that really matches nicely with actually both this and this and then there's like this one which is more of like a velvety um material 
but I don't know how practical that is. I actually ordered some really nice dining chairs and then I cancelled because I suddenly panicked because it, this is a similar material to this but in like a grey colour and I thought is that going to really look like too much texture but yeah let me know your guys thoughts i'd love to hear another thing i really need to decide on is what to do with this back wall because i keep on flipping between having a fireplace or having like a kind of um something like this this like unit the tv sat on but like on the wall or if i get like a faux fireplace electric or ethanol or something because if i stand back i don't know if you can see but this wall is really long but it's also quite high and it just needs something there. To have that, like a real center point of the room. Um, I'm thinking like a marble, but a really modern marble. Fireplace would look really nice, but again, let me know your thoughts. I'm really interested to hear. Here is how the wall is looking. I'm so happy I finally got a flat wall. This obviously needs to be plastered over, switches put on and painted. And also you might have noticed I've got a new bed and I am obsessed with it, but I'm not gonna give you the details yet because I'm trying to see if the company I designed it with will like release it as a design so you guys can buy it as well. So yeah, we'll come back to that. Look at Pippin being so cute. Pip, say hello, say hi, look. Oh, head scratches, head scratches. And then my plan is to have like either ceiling lights or um, wall lights for my bedside table lamps. Um, and then put these ones in B's room. We might even put this bed in B's room. We're trying to decide on everything at the moment. And I'm also just waiting for the curtains in this bedroom. So until I do, I don't really know what I'm gonna go for, like with the bedside tables and everything. So I'm just waiting right now. Oh, Pip, where are you going? So yeah, until we have the curtains, I'm gonna wait for the bedside tables because I wanna make sure the colors really match. As yeah, ideally I'd get some like nice wooden ones, but the curtains I went for are also like a browny color. So they have to work together. One more question for you guys as well. We are south facing, so usually the light in this room is beautiful, but on gloomy days, when the light is like what it is today, I feel like this room is very cold looking and like the paint on the walls is too white. So I wanted to know if any of you have any good suggestions of a white paint that isn't cold and also doesn't have any undertones like, you know, creamy or red or green or anything like that. Just a really nice white. Um, you guys have the best suggestions, so I feel like you're gonna come through on this one. But yeah, let me know in the comments, I'd love to hear. So those are all of the updates, and now I'm gonna quickly edit this video because I wanna get it out early because I don't want any of you to miss out on the Abercrombie code because their stock flies. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Let's all chat in the comments. I love you all so, so, so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.